Okay, thank you so much. So I'm Hiroki Baba, and so this time, so I'm going to uh, talk about building real estate database and its application to uh, urban studies. So today, so particularly, uh, I focus on all the condominium that is one of the serious problems in Japanese cities. Uh, firstly, uh, I briefly introduce myself. So uh, as he explains, so my research theme is uh, simply saying that uh, using urban and real estate data, I would like to extract uh, characteristics of cities and neighborhoods. So uh, I basically target cities and conduct uh, maybe a quantitative analysis. So uh, my background is urban planning and landscape architecture. And after obtaining a PhD three years ago, so uh, I engaged in a real estate research. And then about one and a half years ago, I moved to uh, Kyoto University where I'm seeking how area studies and informatics can be merged together. So uh, because of such backgrounds, my research team deal with mainly uh, housing problems. And this pre presentation showed the first part point one, a real estate database plus application of the database. So before diving into the main theme, so you could look at this figure showing lifetime across the subject of studies. So since the important point of this study is time, so you could figure out how time scales differ across studies. For example, the time span of medical and biological studies is sometimes short, like uh, three days to about a year. Uh, the lifetime of humor is about 80 years ago. So in contrast, the lifetime of trees and the sun are very long, and sometimes it reaches to more than uh, 1,000 years. The, in contrast, the, the lifetime of condominium in Japan reaches from 50 to 70 years. Yeah, uh, actually, it, depend, it depends on the status of the structure and situation of maintenance, but basically, it's like this range. So interestingly, it's similar to the human's lifetime. So actually, the problem is that may, many old condos are increasing along with aging population in Japan. So this figure shows amount of condominium stock and the building age. In Japan, condo age with more than 40 years is sometimes defined as old condo. It's simply because the condo age more than 47 years is regarded as no value uh, from the perspective of tax law of Japan. Uh, looking at this figure, such old condo is just 1 million housing stocks right now, but 20 years later, it will be uh, four times higher, like 4 million housing stocks. So actually, uh, many problems from old condos emerge recently. So, uh, okay, I, I'm going to explain the problems for detail in this slide. And there are three types of uh, problems on old condo. First, aging fiscally. Uh, it relates to uh, resistance to earthquake and replacement of facilities. Old condos like built before uh, 1982 is applied to uh, old earthquake resistance standards, actually. So some of the old condo needs to uh, additional reinforcement to the structure. Second, aging economically, it's about the uh, obsolescence of housing performance and the result plan for building maintenance. Uh, for 
example, a lack of the fund for building maintenance leads to a poor maintenance quality and their economic value will be depreciated. Third, aging demographically. Since most occupants purchase the unit of the condo uh, at the same time, so the most uh, so that most of the occupants are now elderly. In this situation, holding meetings on housing maintenance and so on become more and more difficult. Um, because of such problems, old condo may suffer from occurrence of vacancies and housing abandonment in the worst case scenario. So to deal with the problems of old condo, there are some countermeasures before renovation and rebuild. The idea of reform and renovation is uh, just simple. Renew their facilities and live there as long as possible. But since the structure is impossible to renew, uh, their occupants cannot uh, live more than the expected structure of lifetime. Another idea is rebuilding. A uh, condo is completely renewed, including its structure. So this picture shows the succeeded example of rebuilding. The uh, floor area is expanded to uh, about twice, like from uh, 2,000 to 4,000 4, square meter. And uh, occupants pay a small amount of money by selling the additional floor area. However, rebuilding condo is generally difficult due to uh, consensus building and additional expenses. So uh, uh, yeah, I explain this later. So summarizing these issues about old condo, so uh, like anxiety of abandonment and difficulty in rebuilding condo are significant in thinking the problem. So uh, I assume that detailed spatial and owner information leads to uh, effective policy making. Uh, collect such information like real estate attributes would be uh, really uh, important. So considering this background and issues, my research aims uh, following. So building a condo database by integrating multiple data sources of private companies, identify the uh, spatial distribution of old condo and specify the tendencies of rebuilt condo. So first way, I'm going to explain how to construct called a uh, condo mini -up database. For those who are not, uh, not used to uh, real estate data, I'll show you the overall flow of how to get a real estate data in Japan. So firstly, when a seller wants to sell a vacant property, he or she asks a realtor, the realtor registers information to the web system called lanes, and the web system distributes the data to uh, multiple brokers. Such data are aggregated to web portals. And finally, potential buyers can observe the seller's property data. I collected the data out of web portals originally. And the data are uh, like these pictures, yeah, like this. So uh, the same pieces information are obtained from multiple web portals, actually. So however, since I would like to construct the database, so I wanted to omit the duplicated information, which is a main task of this study. So considering such tasks theoretically, it's called the uh, record linkage pro problem in informatics. So many domains want to omit the duplicated information and give a unique ID. For example, if one to uh, want to find John, there are many Johns in the world. So 
you have to identify a specific jump that you want to find. Yeah, this is a, yeah like the type of object person. And for other things like in those industrial products are the same. However, the industrial products sometimes have hierarchy, marketability, and imperfect information. So which causes some errors like missing values. Along them, uh, real estate data are very unique. Uh, it has hierarchy, uniqueness, marketability, and imperfect information. So there are many errors, including fictitious uh, ones, um, like more like human errors because of its its complexity. So to make a comprehensive control database, I conducted some techniques. The first phase is pre-processing. Since the data are hierarchical, I cleanse the data divided uh, building and housing unit levels and the name, names and room numbers for transforms using a bigram transform formation. The second phase compares each property by using housing attributes. For each index, I constructed correspondence index using cosine similarity. And yeah, by uh, integrating this corresponding, so I finally created a similarity index. The third phase uh, clusters the properties using the distances of similarity index. So by putting a special like this, uh, I finally get a unique condo group. So in this figure, for example, uh, so by cutting this, alpha and beta will be the same condo group and delta and epsilon are the same as well. So finally, I got more than 6 million housing unit and the mean building age is uh, about 30 and a half years ago. Or old, sorry. So after constructing the real estate database, so my next research direction would be uh, uh, how the old condos are distributed, especially. Uh, since I'm interested in uh, spatial distribution, I use the uh, uh, indicator called uh, local Moranzai. This indicator describes the accumulation of the value compared to neighboring areas and can be described as this equation. So uh, this is very uh, similar to a correlation coefficients, actually. It's a specially weighted one. So uh, after calculating the indicator, I can identify a hotspot by using a uh, modern scatter spot. Uh, this spot illustrates the spatial correlation. And for example, when both a specified area and neighboring areas mark high number of old condo units, I can identify it as hotspot. So uh, from this scatter plot, like this one. So I also focus on the housing and locational attributes because I wanted to know the characteristics of accumulated old condos. So uh, I conducted well cheers T test, uh, which is a very basic test to examine the significant differences of means for variables such as floor areas. For example, I uh, extracted samples out of hotspot areas, like this area, and compare samples to all the samples. And the hypothesis here is that whether both of the means are the same or not. 
From this slide, I show you the current distribution of all the condo buildings in Tokyo metropolitan region. So uh, uh, some of you would know this is the central part of Tokyo. And, and around here is Chiba Prefecture and Saitama and Kanagawa Prefecture. Uh, they are mostly a suburban area, like a residential area out of the out from the Tokyo, Tokyo region. And around here is Yokohama. Okay, so uh, let figure illustrates aggregated uh, floor area per uh, one kilo grid cell. Uh, you can see uh, there's a tiny, very tiny agglom agglomeration of all the condo only in Tokyo's central area. A uh, light figure indicates the results from local Moran's eye. Uh, Let colored grid cells show HH cluster, like high, high cluster, uh, uh, which can be set as a hotspot. From this figure, you can find that there's a hotspot in the central part of Tokyo at the current situation. Okay. Uh, however, situation will change 10 years later. When you see the left figure, you can find out there's an agglomeration of all the condo buildings, a uh, little bit expanding to the suburban areas. So, uh, yeah, so I would say all the condo buildings are increasing along the coastal areas around here. Furthermore, uh, this orange colored grid cells, uh, you can see this one, this figure. So a uh, very tiny, but around here, you can see a uh, orange colored one, which is a uh, HL outlier. So uh, in other words, so in this grid, also a specific area marks a large number of old condo buildings in the specific this grid. But neighboring areas to just a small number of old condos. So you can see that there's a HL out wires for a suburban area. So in other words, just a very tiny hot spot in the far suburban areas. Um, the situation get worse as of uh, 2050. Looking at the left figure, the number of old condo buildings become larger and larger. Now, uh, increasing all the condo buildings expand along railways and main arteries. Uh, light figure illustrates increasing HL outliers, as I explained. So, yeah, along the far suburban areas along here. So, it's presumed that there are two tendencies of um, accumulation of all the condo buildings. One is low located in the central part of Tokyo, which can be observed as HH cluster, like hotspot. The other is located in the far suburban areas, uh, which is mostly a HL outlier. So uh, as a next step, so I compare the characteristics differences between HH hot, uh, hotspot and HL outlier and all samples. So these figures show the differences of mean values of housing and locational attributes. There are three categories like all the samples, HH cluster and HL cluster. And also I will explain them for more detail in the next slide, but the differences along the categories seems to be significant. Uh, like more about the characteristics between HH cluster and HL outlier are totally diverse. Uh, for example, the number of housing unit here is likely uh, bigger at HL outlier than the others. And the distance to the nearest station indicates the same trend like So this slide shows the results obtained from Welch's t-test. 
uh, first we will look at HH cluster versus all samples. Uh, price per floor area is significantly high as all the samples, but distance is from the city center and to the nearest station are significantly lower than all samples. This shows that such old condo buildings have a certain degree of demand for uh, rebuilding and resettlement because they are high values and good location. Uh, as the location attributes indicate that uh, they are likely to be accumulated in the yeah, central part of Tokyo. Um, second, second, we observe H L outlier burst all samples. Interesting, most variables like price per floor area, um, yeah, some like distances are the opposite tendencies compared to the previous ones. My total floor area and floor per housing unit uh, significantly higher than all samples which indicates such old condo buildings are likely to be a large structure, considering the uh, characteristics such as low price and yeah, large structure and poor location. So old condos in HL outliers have potential for vacancies and abandonment due to limited demand. So uh, in summary, I. So I could discuss the following points. So as for the trend, so all the condo buildings are accumulated with statistical significance. They are particularly in the central area of Tokyo and expand outer area areas as time elapses. Uh, however, as an expansion accumulation along housing complex in the outskirt of Tokyo, so. Uh, Focusing on the relationship between uh, accumulation and location of old condo. So, uh, uh, yeah, old condo in HL outlier has different characteristics, like, like large uh, scale structure and for families. But so it may become more difficult to de develop condo, I think. So, about uh, we have to think more about this tendency. So our next analysis is about more like how to divide like all condos. And so, yeah, I think more about this result. So as I explained before, there is a difficulty in rebuilding condo. There are some reasons. So first it needs 80% uh, of agreement of the owners for rebuilding. Second, it needs to have tenants to be evicted from the condo. Third, moving and temporary uh, uh, housing costs are incurred during rebuilding, rebuilding periods. So because of these reasons, actually there are only uh, 267 cases of rebuilding condo occurring as of uh, April 2019. So when you see the figure on the left, so which is a special distribution of old and rebuilt condo, so you would understand how rebuilt condos are distributed. They are more like located in the central part of Tokyo around here, but some are suburban areas around here. So to conduct statistical analysis, I collected variable firstly regarding to uh, building location and planning restrictions. So uh, uh, since uh, I, I don't have much time, so I would, wouldn't explain more detail, but so uh, there are many, many variables associated with uh, rebuilding condo. So particularly uh, important would be uh, additional floor area available by rebuilding. So this one is that if you want to rebuild this condo, so after rebuilding, so so you can yeah build more, more floor area. 
So this is a uh, this variable. So I employ the probit model to understand the characteristics of Condole building. Uh, probit model is a basic model in the field of econometrics. So depending on the degree of potential preference of owners, the preference of the rebuilding condo differs. So such difference, uh, such preference is described as this equation. And according to the potential preference, the, the owner of an old condo I choose to rebuild or not. Yeah, it explains this equation. So uh, moreover, so I try to calculate it, the predictive probability using the probit model, like outcome is here. So I calculated the probability here and uh, visualize the uh, both top 10% and bottom 10% of the probability. So in other words, you can see where all the condo buildings are likely to be rebuilt and or difficult to be rebuilt. Uh, this is the results obtained from probit model. Simply saying, uh, most of the variables are statistically significant and land area, building age, additional floor area are po positively correlated. And total stories, total housing units and distance to the city center are negatively correlated. So some co such correlations can be ranked using a standard co uh, standardized coefficients. So uh, building age, land area, and total housing units and additional floor area are the significant factors. From this result, so large land parcel, small number of stakeholders, good location, and additional floor area are important factors in rebuilding condos. And this fact is actually in line with the previous li literature, like more like a uh, qualitative literature though. Uh, next, I visualized spatial distribution of total floor area with top 10% predicted uh, rebuilding prob probability. This fact is a bit specific, though there are some trends observed. Uh, one of the areas that high values of potential condo rebuilding is Minato Shibuya Shinjuku, uh, simply saying that western part of Tokyo CBD. In these areas, so it's thought that they are located near city center, many old condos and additional floor area available by rebuilding. In contrast, areas from 20 to 30 kilometers away from Tokyo central area also have high values of potential condo rebuilding. The factor of this area would be a, a large land area and additional floor area because there are many housing complex located around this area. All in all, so I could find two special types of potential sites of rebuilding condos. So uh, next, I illustrated the spatial distribution of total floor area with the bottom 10% predicted probability. Um, eastern part of Tokyo CBT, uh, such as Shinagawa, Koto, Sumida, and Edogawa was, applied to this area yeah, here. And the reason would be no additional floor area can be used due to very dense high-rise condo around area located. Uh, looking from this, so we can identify that the difficulty in condo, within condo is uh, spatially segregated. So in the future, uh, such area might be uh, deteriorated because accumulation of all the condo buildings, maybe. 
in sun. So I could understand the trend in uh, reviewed condo. So uh, I proved the factors of rebuilding their old condos quantitatively, such as large uh, land parcel, small number of stakeholders, good location, and additional floor area. Moreover, I visualize a predictive uh, spatial distribution for top and bottom 10%. All the condos that are likely to be rebuilt are located in the western part of Tokyo City plus uh, 20 to 30 kilometer away from Tokyo. And on the other hand, the ones difficult to be rebuilt are the eastern part of Tokyo City. So uh, uh, what I find out is, so these are specially uh, segregated. So also this research has significant findings. There are several issues that needs to be addressed. So uh, since the model is not for prediction, the accuracy is not high enough actually. So moreover, I need to include some essential variables such as tenants and management association, which are actually which are difficult to count when conducting quantitative analysis so finally, uh, I, I talk a little bit about the future plan. Uh, also, I integrated building units. There are many elements missing to understand the phenomenon of real estate. So particularly integrating the, yeah, integrating land unit enabled me uh, to consider land area and formation, ownership, mortgage, et cetera which are actually important factors to consider the trend of liquidity of real estate. So as a future work, I try to collect land data as much as possible and would like to consider how to integrate them so that more detailed information can be obtained. Okay, I think that's all today. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, th yeah, thank yeah. you very much uh, for this uh, very interesting presentation. I like specifically how you got the data. Um, so any questions or comments about that? Maybe you can uh, like, what is it, unshare, right, right, so oh, we yeah. can see yeah. each other better. Okay, yeah, yeah. so any questions or comments? Professor Muzaffar, is that is that applause? Okay, okay. <laughs> Maybe it's a raising hands. Um, any questions or comments about that? Um, maybe, maybe uh, as a for understanding the general uh, thing uh, in in Japan, the housing market. Um, how how is that actually? Usually, people who live in the city are they actually the house owners, or is it is a lot of I don't know, is rent, is that a thing? Because, you know, if I compare this from my German perspective here in Korea, then I see that it's, it's very different. Mm -hmm. uh, that gives probably also some kind of idea how that works, how people kind of perceive the housing mm -hmm. and everything. Okay, yeah, thank you. Thank you for your question. So uh, actually I once compared like the ratio of housing owner and uh, rental ratio. Uh, so the like pe people who rent the house would be the like same percentage to the Germany. It's about I think forty percent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, forty to fifty percent, and like about half of the people have their own house. But but you know, so in Tokyo, since the the land is so restricted so much. I think the people who rent the house would be more and more compared to the suburban area. Yeah. And ah, in this talk, so I I talked about the condominium, and I actually focus on the con like condominium who own their apartment. 
like in this situation, most of the people own the house in this research. Yeah, only in this research though. Yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah. So that would be then the next question because you mentioned, uh, so it's actually a problem to to make some rebuilding activities and so, right? Because 80% of the owners of this of all these units have to agree to that, right? Mm -hmm. And now would be the next question. So what, okay, let's say 80% of the uh, people in this house, in this condominium agree. Yeah, let's make, <laughs> let's rebuild this. But there are the other 20% and they are against that. So mm -hmm. what, what happens then with them? So let's say I'm, I'm living in this house, but I don't want, you know, I don't <laughs> want that it be rebuilt. What happens to me? <laughs> okay, thanks. So, uh, Chiwei, I'm, since I'm not a professional about uh, such kind of the practical one, so, but I, I guess, so after like more than 80% of the occupants agree with the co rebuilding the condo, so the rest of 20 or less than 20% will be forced to, uh, yeah, out, okay, so, out so the police is maybe housing. coming or something and it's taking me out. Okay. But, but I think if you have any like comments or debate, uh, so uh, so you, you can sue the housing association, I think. Yeah, okay, so there, there's some legal possibilities, but uh, I mean, it's interesting, right? Maybe you own <laughs> this place and you like it a lot for whatever reason, <laughs> huh? And then uh, suddenly someone says, this is your property, but you have to go <laughs> out. And I mean, it's clear, right, that you have to, to find some agreement with all these different mm -hmm. people living there and yeah that this is difficult um other questions or comments if if not then i have i i have another one <laughs> okay so you showed actually in this projection for the future mm -hmm. yet these kind of uh, curves and you showed for instance that um the floor area is uh, probably not changing so much over time huh, until 2050 of the units. Um, but you showed, for instance, that the prices will increase, right? And this is actually also a very big issue in Korea, by the way. I guess in many places in the world, unfortunately, huh, also in uh, Germany and Berlin, for instance, was really mm -hmm. nice for a long time, but uh, I don't know, gets expensive. What, what are the reasons for that? Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea? I mean, do you have information about it or any guess why it would be like this? Uh, like in increasing the housing price, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so the one, one, one of the main factors would be the uh, like restriction of the land. So, so, you know, so for example, in Tokyo uh, and Kyoto and uh, Seoul as well, so the land is very restricted and if you want to build a house so most of the case the other people have already owned the house and more and more people want to own that house so it gets more and more difficult to only one people purchase this land so it's the one factor increasing the land price and moreover, so for example, in case of Tokyo, if the very uh, like good location land, so international person want to purchase that land for uh, uh, like for the motivation of their like make money, yeah. So that if the land is more competitive all over the world, so the land is likely to be a higher price. So yeah, yeah, actually that that's the reason why there's a like special segregation happens. So uh, in case of Tokyo, in the central part of Tokyo, the land price gets higher and higher. But in contrast, in the suburban areas the land price gets lower and lower and uh, become more abundant space and vacancies happening. Yeah. Yeah, thank you very much. Other questions or comments? If not, I, I have one more, <laughs> one more, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> so because it's a really interesting topic for me. Yeah. Um, so 
you, you mentioned that uh, the potential for actually adding a floor, right? This is uh, mm -hmm. one, one of the elements that is actually determining if this is maybe a place that will be interesting uh, for like for future rebuilding uh, possibilities, <laughs> right? So actually having, it, it is, is considered to be something good, right? To maybe add another floor or something. Mm -hmm. And is there actually maybe also a kind of tendency because if I, again, if I see this from my European perspective, then also mm -hmm. all these kind of um, uh, condos and apartment buildings and so on, they are usually, um, you know, especially in the Western part of Europe, not so much in the Eastern part where we have a lot of them, but in the Western mm -hmm. part, a lot of these places are considered to be social hotspots in the sense like, I mean, in a negative way, meaning people actually don't want to live there. Huh? They are kind of forced there. And so, I mean, in Korea, it's completely different in the sense people like to, a lot of people like, not everyone, of course, but a lot of people like to live in these apartment houses because they also, they are really big also, right? And they offer a lot of convenience. And um, so is there maybe, uh, is there kind of demand maybe in Japan uh, or some kind of like movement that says uh, rebuilding these kind of condos maybe in areas which are not so, uh, how to say, um, favored, uh, which are not so popular and maybe coming up with a completely different concept of how the city looks like, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe making more like family houses with some garden maybe even or something like that. Is, is that a thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you so much. So uh, yeah, actually, this actually happens in Japan. Yeah, I would say uh, it's almost happened. So like 20 to 30 years ago, so there was a like, yeah, like there's an area like socially not, not, not so much favored and the land price is relatively low. But in that case, uh, like real estate developers so purchased the land so much and uh, built uh, like high rise buildings or commercial buildings and uh, this that district changed so much particularly in the uh, eastern eastern part of Tokyo yeah simply saying so well it's more, almost happened in Tokyo and uh, not so much such, such area uh, remained in Tokyo. And, but in contrast, in Osaka, it's happening now. So there, there are still some like large, uh, large land left, and uh, there's a possibility of the uh, large development happening, uh, Kyoto as well, actually. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. 